in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I make tacos. Okay, let's get it. So first thing you want to do is open your microwave and put the tacos in. Then, close it up, press defrost, then press 3-3. Um, three, three. And it should be uh, leaving in there for about 24 minutes. Once it's in there for about 24 minutes, um, if it's not all the way like soft or uh, defrosted, do it again and it should be defrosted. So I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, once you have your um, meat finished, your taco meat finished, you're gonna open it. And once you open it, you're going to pour it into your pot or pan. Give me a second, guys. Okay, once you do that, turn it on. Uh, stove on to high or turn it down to like seven something like that and once it starts to get brown once it starts to get brown that means it's good to um be uh, ready to eat so I'll cut back to when it's ready to be brown or I'll cut back to when it's like you know cooked now that the meat is all brown or yeah, brown. Uh, you want to take your taco seasoning and just pour it in there. Make sure you get all of it. Only one packet should do. But if you do need two, use two packets. And then you're gonna do the same thing, just mix it up. Until you get it everywhere. I might need to use two. Ooh, it smells so good. Yeah, I think I might need to use two. Yeah, one more. Okay. And I'll let you guys know when I get to the end of this. Once it starts bubbling like this, you want to take this, your spatula, and just turn it. See how it's getting more brown? And that's basically how you wanna keep your meat. Cause if it's red, that means it's bad. It's gonna taste like horrible. So you wanna make sure you get everywhere that is brown. Yeah. Okay, now that I'm done with the meat, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna have one of these. If you don't have one of these, find something where you can have, like, have the meat inside like a pot or something. And basically you're gonna do is have it over the sink and pour this. So you can get all that water out. All the meat in there. So good. Should get 
all that meat. If there's any chunks left, grab your spatula. Then what you're gonna do is, once all that meat is in your, whatever you're using, your pot, something like that, you're gonna take it, and yeah, just bring it back to the stove, and I'll cut to that right now. Okay, once you have your meat, you wanna use a pan, cause you don't wanna use the same thing twice, so, Make sure to just pour the meat in there. Make sure none of it falls out. Then what you're gonna do is, is just let it sit for a little bit. And I'll cut back to when we're making the tacos. All right, I'll cut back to when we're about to put them on the shelves. Okay, after cooking the meat, you want to take this lid off and grab a plate. Oh, before doing that, you wanna make sure like you crunch up your meat a little bit more just a little bit. Okay. And let me grab a plate. Okay. Now you want to grab your taco shells. Come on. Now that you have your taco shells, I'm gonna move this back a little bit. Have your taco shells. Uh, grab one. Hey. And basically. And that's, oh, 
<laughs> and that's how that's how you guys make tacos hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you want to see more content like this let me know and yeah thanks for watching <laughs>